Here we go. <laughs> to do it live autonomy podcast season five just kick-started last night uh it was really exciting great to see all the new faces uh today we're joined by a mixture of new students and uh and graduates so this is going to be really exciting uh this is a special episode because uh we've been i've had like two months off from uh, doing this podcast uh not that uh i've been uh, kicking it back in the shade but uh basically more busy we're more we're more busy in between seasons getting everything ready uh so uh we're gonna just kind of go through memory lane um from the last two months of uh what autonomy's got accomplished uh what uh who what special events we've had and um and then discuss a little bit about uh what's 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 new and what's fresh with the structure of autonomy so we had a uh, a really good problem uh, about two months ago. And that was, there was too many people trying to get into autonomy. Uh, we have a very extensive uh, interview process for everybody to get into autonomy. Um, you have to have had an hour long conversation with myself or uh, one of the other graduates or Rich, uh, Richard in, in order to get in. Um, and because of that, we had a bit of a bottleneck Richard went on to um, the Greater Reset event. It was like a summit, like six day event with like 20 speakers. He, he uh, did a really um, awesome presentation there uh, uh, and, and with a strong call to action about problem solution. Uh, and uh, we, 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 were, we were, our schedule was pretty full, but then we all of a sudden were like three months out on um, our blueprint calls to get into autonomy. Uh, that was a serious issue since we were going to be launching the next season soon. Um, so we really went to work at trying to redesign um, the, the, that experience and in getting into autonomy to um, expand the bottleneck. Um, because of that, uh, I've, the whole team's been working uh, nonstop in order to, to shift things around and make this more uh, attainable. But as I said, a pretty amazing problem to have uh, getting, getting so many people interested in joining autonomy. Uh, so what did we do? Richard came up with uh, a great idea of creating, a, a it's called a, an autonomy obstacle course. And this is the first look you guys get to see about this. So <clears throat> this just got done this last week. We uh, launched it in uh, the, 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 the students got to do uh, beta testing last week. But what this is, is uh, an obstacle course. You gotta go through the obstacle course in order to get into autonomy. Uh, sounds like some extra work, but it's really not. It's actually uh, amazing because Richard went through and uh, answered a lot of questions, made really clear expectations about what autonomy is, what it can accomplish for you, uh, and, uh, and, and that way it lightens up the, the, the bottleneck, like I said, to where more people can then just talk to the people that are serious about this, uh, to, to join autonomy. Uh, these are, it's about, uh, it's about probably two hours of, of, uh, information in here, which, uh, goes by rather quickly. It's in little bite-sized chunks, so it, it's not, uh, hitting you all at once but you do have to watch it in order um, completely in order for the, the next one to unlock. Mark. Closer to five or six hours, I would say. I tried to get through it yesterday. It's it's good long. It's like 12 or 10 or 12 parts to it. And a couple of them are 45 minutes. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's, by the way, it's excellent. I should have started by saying that. It's a really fantastic. Um, it's, it's, it's a great thing for somebody to go through that uh, hasn't done this before, like me. I tried to plow through it yesterday in between doing work, which um, was really taxing. And I only got about three quarters of the way through. Just Awesome. But yeah, was it uh, informational? And did it, it, was, it was 
way more inf way more informational than I was expecting. Uh, it's a really deep and it really kind of goes into a lot of the stuff that the autonomy course covers. It's very, very good. Excellent. All right. So that that, that checks off our box. Um, and what's yeah, what's so great about this is uh, we also have a nice little bonus course that once you get through this uh, for free, this is all free, great information. I mean, there's information in here you can just take and start putting action in your life. But then once you complete this uh, obstacle course, you get the critical thinking trifecta course. And that is something that uh, Richard and Paul Verge got, um, got together and went over uh, the, the summary of the trivium method and breaks it down into really easy to understand um, um, aspects to where you can put this in action in your life. So this is going to be being released uh, in the community next week, and then it will be part of the uh, obstacle course uh, moving forward. So looking forward to this, this is, I mean, when I first came across the trivium method, it was so uh, shrouded in mystery that I was diving in, trying to make sense, literally for a couple of years, trying to see how this like fit together. I liked, I, I, I wanted what it was offering, which is like critical thinking, a tool to critically think, but it was just like moving in molasses, trying to like see how these concepts uh, fit for my brain and like how to uh, apply it in the real world. And so Rich and Paul did a fantastic, easy summary, how you can immediately put this into action. And uh, it's a great like beginning of the neurons in your brain for the deeper subjects to be able to attach to. So this is going to be being released uh, next week for the students and uh, coming up uh, publicly at the end of the obstacle course for everybody involved. So this is going to be pretty exciting. Um, and yeah, awesome. Very proud of all the team. We had copywriters, we had the media team, we had the designers all helping out to make this happen. Uh, Rich had like full production going on at his house. Uh, so yeah, just really cool to see all of this come into, into play. This next week, uh, or also that started in, uh, going in between the seasons was Grand Theft World. Uh, we might've got this going at the, at the end of last season, but this has really blossomed into a fantastic weekly podcast where Richard and the team, uh, they go through and recap the last week of current events, videos that you've missed, um, things that you just need to know. And, and honestly, for myself, like I'll, I'll, I'll be a little transparent. So my wife has let me know that uh, she doesn't enjoy how much media I consumed when I have a like beautiful family. I have a three-year-old daughter and, and my wife. And uh, because of that, um, she asked that I stop listening to so much current events, which is important to me to be aware of, of uh, what's going on in the world so I can make informed decisions for my family. And we, we I, I said, what if I just watch Grand Theft World each week? And that gives me the current events that I, and things that I need to know. And then I can kind of focus on my family for the rest of the week. And she, she agreed. She's like, okay, that's a good compromise. So I get my Sunday evenings with uh, the Grand Theft World crew, everybody in autonomy, they get to join the program live. They can contribute. They can uh, put in uh, uh, articles or, or videos that should be on the podcast. So it's a, a, a truly a, a community um, production. And so because of that, yeah, I can now uh, stay informed, but I don't have to, you know, subject myself to mainstream uh, spin and slant and all the, all the tricks that the media uses to, uh, to, 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 to spin a narrative. So Grand Theft World is up and rocking. We just hit uh, episode 18. Production's getting even like smoother and smoother. And uh, when you join, here, let me see up here. You can join the community on grandtheftworld.com. And what that gets you is a way to contribute and support the show, which is huge and awesome. This is a huge production, requires lots of people. Uh, and so all con contributions are super helpful. 
But in there, you get to join the Grand Theft World community. We have our own uh, online group that allows us to uh, all share current events all on a chronological feed without uh, algorithm manipulation, trying to tell you what you should know. It, it's just a great group of people that are saying, hey, this is interesting, this is interesting, this is interesting. Uh, so you get access to the community uh, and, and events, but then also we have a bi bi-weekly town hall that happens uh, in the afternoons um, that is open form, more relaxed, and everybody can just kind of share and give updates where they are in the around the world, uh, which like this time last year, right when the pandemic was ha happening, it was very, very um, helpful to like have boots on the ground reports of what people are experiencing where. There was a lot of chaos and confusion going on. So uh, just this community is well worth the $10 to, to get in. And then we have uh, behind the scene footage that's constantly coming out and a fantastic app that puts all of these episodes, all this production um, right in your pocket. Uh, students in autonomy, you guys uh, know that app well because this is the same app that we are using for uh, the autonomy course. So it's just really convenient to have uh, all these videos just at the touch of your finger, not trying to find them on YouTube and realize that they've been deleted uh, and trying to scramble and pick one of the 20 different alternative places where uh, we're, we're needing to put media up there. But now you got this nice, concise uh, area. Plus, look at this, all of the um, notes and resources from the show right there at your fingertips. So when you're going to share this with your friends and family, you can go um, right here and pull up the documents yourself and be able to, to share that um, uh, as well. And let's see, oh man, can I pull this off? This might... Josh, when do you think the um, Grand Theft World app, and are you talking about a Discord server? Um, that's the community aspect. And then the app is uh, the Kajabi app that you get when you join autonomy. So we'll probably need to yeah. get you set up with that. Yeah, it's really similar, like to the autonomy setup. It's like almost identical. And then like, it'll, yeah, with Kajabi. Yeah. So I had the Grand Theft World before I got into autonomy. So it was really convenient. Because cool. like once I got into autonomy, it's all in the same thing. It's all in the same course. It's really simple. And I agree with you, uh, Josh, as far as like the overall consumption of uh, media during the week, like before Grand Theft World, man, I was watching so many different things all the time, like constantly on my way back and forth to work. So Grand Theft World really reduced that like exponentially to where I could just like watch that and like get, yeah, I mean, 80 to 90% of what I needed for like that kind of content and keeping up to date and current. So I 100% agree with you. So that's definitely like opened up some, some, uh, time so to speak <laughs> yeah excellent and yes and once it become once you notice that like the communities like sharing that information and it's funneling up to the the podcast production like it's a pretty magical thing like not a lot of not a lot of things are are uh, uh happening there uh that's like that out in the world certainly not corporate led yeah no i absolutely agree no it's 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 good it's definitely um its own thing like that there's nobody else doing any kind of like long form stuff like how they do it, especially doing it live like that and i love how he has like all the autonomy students and stuff being a part of the production i think that's really awesome it's one of the things that actually drew me to it like how it's just you know i mean the community like you know it was built because every time he, he'd be talking through it and he'd be like yeah oh, he's an autonomy graduate and tyler's an autonomy graduate and he's an autonomy graduate i'm like yeah I was like, so these guys are all like communitized and then like really doing something yeah i was like it's really awesome so it was one of, definitely one of the things that attracted me to autonomy sweet one of the many oh that's awesome yeah uh that the grand theft world was an idea on richard's desk that was sitting there for uh for i don't know years and uh we finally had the resources to like pick it up. I think Tyler like took the lead and he's like, Oh, I think we can do this. All right. Got the ball moving. And then we got the resources and support to do it. And it just grew and grew. And now it's yeah. Turning into this like massive, beautiful production. So check out Grand Theft World if you haven't seen it already. And um, I will say, yeah, I've been taking these sources for myself. So uh, uh, my friends and family, I've been actually taking these resources and kind of repurposing them into my own videos so that 
from like a branding marketing perspective, I'm repackaging this information with my face that has uh, trust built into it to share with my like micro local network. Um, because if I threw them a five hour podcast, they'd be like, <laughs> no, uh, even, even throwing things from YouTube is like suspicious. So being able to like put this shiny face on there and send the same like source documents and be like, Hey, I think this is really important. Uh, I'm noticing is having a more effective way of like, uh, getting, getting through to people. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. And uh, in this last newsletter, I t I, we, we talked about how to how to do that for yourself. All right. So this last in between seasons, uh, Benny Wills. Benny Wills was a season three graduate and Benny Wills uh, went through autonomy, got the idea to create a course named Parhesia uh, last season. He took that course, put it together and uh, we did a beta version inside of the uh, autonomy, uh, and we then helped Benny market it and turn it into his own course, uh, which he just um, uh, went public with. He's currently in like halfway through his first season, and uh, he had a goal. He had a brand new baby, brand new family. Uh, and uh, he wanted to be able to uh, provide for his family, helping people with their communication. And so we supported Benny in getting this up and running. And uh, we're yeah very proud of the, the fact that he more than doubled what he was hoping to make with his first launch of his course. And uh, now it's, it's a huge hit. Uh, anybody was, was anybody there this morning for uh, today's session? Okay, they're all, no, all right. Uh, they're all sleeping still from uh, last night's lecture. <laughs> uh, so yeah, super happy about Benny's success. Uh, looks like he's gonna have just even a, a, a better season next one because uh, we basically put this together and didn't even um, get to marketing it outside of his sphere yet. So now we have this like really successful course and we're going to be able to uh, kick it into high gear um, for his next season. And uh, Autonomy Unlimited is helping him with his marketing. We helped him do with course creation. And now it's going to be, yeah, uh, it's going to cost more even next time. All right. So beyond that, now we're helping out uh, 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 someone I'm a huge fan of, Jordan Page. Jordan Page is a rock and roll star, a uh, friend uh, of Richard Grove. And uh, he came to us because he wanted some more clients to teach guitar to. And his original idea was, uh, hey, would you guys help me get like four or five clients um, and uh, to, to fill up his schedule? And we said, how about we do something way better? Why don't we help you build a course so that you can make you can share how to learn guitar in a much wider fashion. And you're not just sharing that information one-on-one, -on -one, but you make a beginner foundation course, and then people will go through that course. You'll be able to put a price tag on that. And then from there, those that uh, uh, complete that course can then get up on your schedule. Uh, Cause you know, you, they already have a foundation. They already have uh, the drive to, to stick with it. Um, plus you've demonstrated yourself as an expert through the course. This is all automated, right? And can, uh, and revenue generating. And then, then he'll have his pick and choice of like how many clients that he wants to uh, help out with. So we're currently helping him. Uh, he says he's got like four lessons all ready to go. Uh, we taught him OBS. We taught him how to broadcast. Uh, it's really, really awesome. Uh, what he's able to do because, uh, he, he can do a split screen showing him over here, showing uh, the neck of the guitar and, and up close over on the right hand side. Um, and here, here's a little uh, little ditty that he did for uh, for the uh, autonomy community. Where the path runs straight and high.
a queen without a king they say she plays guitar and cries and sings see if we get kicked off of youtube for that one well really exciting to help him uh and his family dude's got like seven kids so uh this is really exciting to be able to help him just yeah continue to do what he loves to do which is play guitar teach other people guitar and then being able to uh have a wider audience right like more and more people can can learn from uh jordan page instead of what he was originally thinking of this kind of limited one-on-one -on -one approach so that's going to be really exciting and be kicking off here uh i think we're going to be making an announcement this next week and then uh probably production in the next two weeks for that all right moving forward uh one more cool thing that we got going on is complete guide to forming communities for mutual aid support and charity this is with stefan for snappin um let's see uh, uh lee a friend of our lee he reached out to him uh in between seasons and brought stefan in for uh, a presentation all about um he wrote a book called The Art of Urban Survival. I'm reading that book right now. It's, it's like really good. 300 pages of how to um, be aware in any type of situation. It's very detailed. Some of it's like, oh yeah, that, of course. But if you don't think through these things, then when they actually could happen, uh, then you're, you're, you're going to be, uh, be a, a deer in headlights. So he had a new book come uh, in development called this title right here, uh, Forming Communities. And uh, again, he had the idea like, oh, I've been working on this book for a couple of years. I'm just trying to like finish it so I can get it out to the community. Uh, or, uh, but we asked him if he'd be interested in, in doing a course instead. Uh, and he could put all that knowledge into a course with video, with resources, uh, with, with supportive material, um, and, and then fit the book inside of that. So when you purchase this course, then you get his book, plus you get all the bylaws and uh, guidelines in forming communities. This is a huge thing that's missing with people wanting to, to get together with other like-minded individuals is like the actual structure of how you live and work together. It's, it's all hippy dippity to, to be able to get together and be like, yeah, man, we're just going to love each other. What happens when they start bar borrowing your tools, start breaking your stuff? <laughs> Things just start creeping in uh, in close living situations. And if you don't have the structure and the, the framework to support what you're trying to build, then it's going to just collapse. And uh, so the information is very timely and valuable. This is going to be starting off, I think, next week, where we're going to have a weekly presentation uh, inside of Autonomy. And then we're going to take that production, break it up, and make it into his course that will be made available for the public. So pretty exciting stuff and looking forward to that. Moving into student productions. There is a ton of student, um, uh, uh, there's a ton of students making a ton of great content. So this is kind of just an inside look at the autonomy calendar each week. You can see it's just jam packed. Students are putting together podcasts or putting together special presentations. Um, and so each day, it's a little overwhelming, right? When you stumble into it, but you can figure out what are uh, our, what, interest you and be able to tune in each week and be part of the show. It's really like uh, anybody can, can join. They're constantly um, doing special guests. Uh, and uh, so here's, here's one called Renaissance Revolution. Let's see if this wants to work for me. Come on, Odyssey, we can do it. I'm gonna lower my shields. <clears throat> so Renaissance Revolution is, uh, Kalik, uh, and he really brought a lot of culture and um, art into the community when he joined, I think, uh, season three, season four. And from there, come on now, come on, come on, Odyssey, you can do it. So from there, uh, 
He now does a weekly. I just been feeling like weekly. Uh, it's all clicking, you know. Community that gets clicking. together and they showcase yeah, art, they showcase right. poems, they showcase uh, all things yeah, that really creates been, culture because culture is, can greatly shape your environment right. um, and, and society. So. Uh, if, uh, if you're okay. interested in any of these things, if you got art, if you got poems, if you got uh, hip hop, smoking a herbal remedy, I'm not. Uh, songs. This is the place to uh, to do that in. Like a bozo. Uh, I think that's going on tonight. So check the calendar if you're interested in that. All right, moving on. Lisa Manfredi just started up her uh, gateway to financial freedom. Um, she is doing a weekly presentation on like how to be your own bank, uh, understanding the financial system, understanding what money is. Um, she put on the, she started doing this last season and uh, she blew my mind. She has a very simple approach to money and, uh, and how you can become your own bank. Uh, <laughs> When I heard that, it definitely got my interest and I've worked with her um, outside of autonomy and I was able to set up um, uh, a, a life insurance plan for my family, something I never thought I would like actually pay for and, and have in place. But now I got that, um, I got that security for my family um, and, and now I'm adding to that. And then within that, there's a way to be your own bank to where I can borrow money out of that anytime that I want without asking anyone's permission. I don't have to ask any bank to loan money, uh, from, I can just draw out, um, I can draw upon that and be able to invest in, uh, more assets. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, because, uh, how are you going to get autonomy if you can't, you know, have uh, the freedom to purchase what you want, uh, check out, Lisa Manfredi's Financial Freedom um, through Autonomy. All right, Rising Excellence. They've been going strong for two seasons now, I wanna say. And uh, each week they get together and just talk about high level, um, important topics. And I might even stretch this topic into two weeks because we have so much material. But this week, we are going to be talking about foraging. What do you think about that, Dennis? Oh, and Great by things. the way, um, blessed, love this everybody. is Raising Excellence. I haven't done this for a while. My name is Agnieszka, and I'm joined by Dennis, the Freedom Facilitator. And we're talking about psychology and practical solutions for life. Yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, this is something that uh, several graduates got together, created their own podcast. Uh, they figured out production. Now they've been doing it for, I want to say a year to, through two seasons. And uh, they've, they've been um, really consistent and have, they've been, and have been growing a following. And as Agnieszka is like in Mexico right now, Dennis is over in Germany. So they have students from all around the world. They come together and talk about uh, uh, really fun topics. Let's see, who's this guy? Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, now we're, we're catching up. Uh, last week we had our initial meet and greet, our global meet and greet where uh, students and graduates and the autonomy team were able to come on to a call, say hello to each other. We had, I want to say like 60 people from around the world, all time zones uh, join in. And uh, a lot of people got to say hello. Uh, we put uh, a little bit, we put a couple sections of this in the, into the, um, uh, the obstacle course so that you can meet the team and you can meet the uh, community, see, see what kind of caliber of individuals are in here. And this is, uh, let's see, this is uh, something I'm going to share. <laughs> this is me asking Tyler to introduce himself. Tyler is part of the autonomy team. Tyler introduce yourself thanks joshua yeah i was season two and uh saw season one happen and thought well you know it's not the right time for me and then really felt like i missed the bus after seeing you know some of the things because i was in the tragedy and hope community for a number of years and 
followed the entrepreneur skills to pay the bills group and was excited about the whole idea of what Richard was putting together and have always appreciated his work. So then when I had the opportunity to join in season two, I like couldn't pass that up, had to get in. And uh, it really was a life changer. Uh, everybody that's here that signed up, you've really made a great decision. And this is going to be a huge boost in your life. One thing that happens here that I've seen happen over and over again is people get the support they need. And that's really been true for me. So although, like Joshua, I like to support people, I like to help them in their projects, the support that I've received in and around autonomy has been really tremendous. And so I'd like to say thanks you know, to everyone that I've worked with so far for that support and really look forward to working with the new students um, for me. Like I said, it's been a life transforming uh, thing that's unfolding. I don't even know the right word to say, like put it in a category and say this is what autonomy is, because it's also a very dynamic environment. Uh, a lot of people in a lot of different areas of expertise and a lot of different areas of exploring. And so from my perspective to say this is what autonomy is, is really just one uh, perspective. But, you know, I've been able to maintain remote work. I've started a, a business, a, a profitable business that has a lot of upward mobility. Um, one of my big goals is to be able to be around my family. I mean, even if I have to work really hard to um, maintain that remote working arrangement, uh, that's kind of a high priority for me to be able to walk away from the desk and immediately be able to spend time with family. Uh, I have a, a really good team that I work with. I look forward to working with those that come down towards uh, media production and copywriting and social media. We all work really close. So um, and then also look forward to just seeing those people grow and attending the Sunday Q&A where uh, like once a week we have a amazing meeting where people come in with with a good problem and everybody gets to solve it together. So look forward to meeting you all. Good job. Well said. Uh, anybody else make that uh, meet and greet? And how was your experience with that? Um, I got to be there. I was there for most of it. Um, this is Melanie, by the way. Hi, Melanie. I am. Yeah, and so it was cool. It was really cool. I got to talk, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, how was the whole uh, experience, and uh, what 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 kind of con or what misconceptions did you go into there with? Did you just not know what kind of uh, people you were about to meet, and how did it turn out? Actually, no. I I lost you. We lost the audio. Anybody else? Uh, I mean, the, the experience itself was really, was really cool. I think, yeah, overall. Excellent. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for joining us on uh, today's podcast. Yeah, uh, thank you. Anybody else have any feedback on, on the meet and greet? I can really resonate with what um, Tyler was saying and just creating a life that uh, is centered around family. And, and uh, Rich talks about this too, about just how um, I, I, I've also created a life where at any time my daughter walks in and she uh, wants some attention. Uh, I'm usually able to just drop what I'm doing and, and go out and hang, hang out with her. So uh, it's, very powerful uh, to to be able to build what kind of lifestyle that you want and be able to provide for your family. Hey, Josh, it's Dana in Hawaii. Hi, Dana. Hi. Hello, everybody. Good to see you this morning or wherever, whatever time it is in your zone. <laughs> but I, I can resonate with wanting to spend more time with family. I have an 18 year old, you know, uh, went through the public schooling system. My my 15 year old is a freshman in high school right now. And I just definitely want to pull him out of, of the abusive uh, DOE down here. Like I've had to deal with teachers and superintendents and just the gangs that are building up over here. Ninth graders coming on middle school campuses, trying to extort them, you know, and just, it's crazy. Like going through the judicial system, like I'm over it. I've been over it. It's been happening for, you know, since they were young and just not having the ability to, you know, like Richard said, I do have skills. It's just 
funneling it to areas and, and learning through this community uh, where like um, just finding places where I can put my skills and exploit them, what, what I have. So uh, I have uh, my youngest is she's 11 now. So I'm really looking forward to maybe working with Barbie Rivera uh, with her homeschooling. I think she, how old is her daughter? Was it her daughter or her, her son? She has four kids, right? Yeah, I think they're all adults now. Oh, wow. Okay, so but, she has a system now. <laughs> yeah, but she, she's been teaching kids for like 20 years though. So she's developing a K through eight curriculum and like she, she's doing only K through eight because a hundred years ago, that's all the kids needed to do. And they were, uh, they turned out more equipped than the high schoolers today going an extra four years with their education, so. Okay, sounds promising. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed seeing, you know, since taking the um, trivium, like going through Tony Myers class and learning how to apply to ethos and pathos, you know, and um, logos. It's like, he definitely did it with those pictures of him and his son and Lisa. So it's like, yeah, that's what I want, you know, stop torturing my kids <laughs> with public school education. Yeah, and I love seeing their, um, your daughter cooking with the her, your wife yeah. in the kitchen. I gotta make those pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> the blueberry pancake video, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. Well, thanks, 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 Dana. And uh, it really is, yeah, man. I can't imagine having teenagers right now and 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 the systems that are out there just messing with them. Oh yes, I'm keeping my daughter at home, and it's not for reasons of the virus. Like they're putting in five G. And just the mass BS that they're going through, like I know, like it is just, it's just about control, and definitely, like there's all kinds of things going on here in Hawaii. Like it's definitely, like I said, slave think. I mean, like I said, on were you on last night's um yep, Q and I made it. I made it yeah. Too. You heard my story about getting on the bus. Like, I didn't want to run back to my house and grab the mask. I'm like, freaking, this is bullshit. And so I just like did the whole tucking thing. And it's like, I wanted to get on the bus as much. I didn't want to make a stink with everybody on there. And like, I'm just thinking like, I could like, how small is a virus? Like it can get through everything that I have on my face and through your mask. But it's like, okay, I'll save that for the last day that I'm on this island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah you got a small place with uh, only a limited amount of people to interact with yeah that's for sure but hopefully you know uh this autonomy will spread i have you know there's hope yeah. <laughs> it will it will <laughs> i i ran a, into a lady on the trail and uh i guess she felt uh concerned because i wasn't wearing a mask outside and she did this while walking the Oh yeah, I get that in Hawaii too, like in town, like after I get off the bus, it's like, I have to, you know, I, I want to find another source to make money, but for now I'll deal with it on the bus. But like, as soon as I get off in town, I like take it off and people are just like staring at you like, or they walk like the six feet away, if not more. And if anything, I just like walk down the street and I'm smiling. And it's like, it's kind of like, don't you guys miss like having this social interaction? You're like mentally like suppressing yourselves and uh, you're just, having your bodies harbored with diseases with your depression like forget it I'll, I'll do it to an extent I know I shouldn't like give into the bs but you know until I can get off island and support myself you know and grow the community out there and you know do the nice brainwashing that Woody showed on his <laughs> his YouTube video like that's what we need <laughs> yeah. well it's great that, you, that your kids have a, a wonderful role model in their life trying to be it You'd have to ask them. I'm trying to get my 18 year old to join, but it's, it's doing some convincing. But the oh, obstacle man. course, I'm gonna show him. There you I go. Should do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Sorry, I took up so much time, but yeah. Oh no, Thank you. that's what this is all about. So uh, I want to open it up now to just round table. Anybody have any comments of the first lecture from last night? What did you think of the material? Got a thumbs up from Joanna. I don't want to hog the, you know, how much, how many times do I get to talk? Take it, take it. It was, it was so fantastic. It was really great. I mean, I actually learned a lot about myself and where I'm at right now, just from actually from just talking. I learned that I'm, I'm enjoying being a victim right now. So I'm going to have to snap out of that. That was pretty enlightening, but um, 
yeah, it was really good, really good material. And uh, I really enjoyed it. So. Excellent. Yay. Yeah, it was a very lively Q&A at the end. Who else? Mark? I learned that I'm going to have to lighten up my Friday calendar and take a nap. <laughs> Um, I, I like I said I tried I tried to digest the uh, the obstacle course while I was working yesterday, and then queued up the nine o'clock meeting and um, sat for an hour. Realized that my chair was uncomfortable. Sat on the couch, and it was eleven forty when I woke up, realizing that I had passed out. <laughs> and uh, I watched a little while longer. But I'm wondering, are they going to be? Um, uh, is the video going to be posted so that we could catch up on that? How does that work? Yeah, usually the team's gotten their systems down so that typically the next morning, uh, the replay, we put a raw replay up and then we'll put a polished one uh, replacing that one okay. later that day. But we try to get it up uh, within, definitely within 12 hours. So you can, and is you can that, wake up. Is that on the uh, the website, the autonomy or the um, Reason Univers University of Reason website? Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Thank you. Yeah, they had, they had it up this morning by like 10 o'clock. Because okay. I, I missed the last part of the Q and A. Yeah, but yeah, I really like. Uh, yeah, I like the Q and A yesterday because Richard seemed to have like an answer or a, like a, um, like every everybody that said something like he always he had like this positive like outcome for him like put together like a step by step process in the middle of the conversation. He can't turn then, it off. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, you know what good. I thought was interesting is. Um, when Richard said he was he was going to explain why this is important to him, and he, he said he, he's getting vulnerable, and he showed pictures of his family, and one of the pictures was him in a sugar shack by his friend um, Colin, where he's making syrup with his family. You know, his his, uh, his family was there, and that's a metaphor for what I think Richard does. He synergizes information, um, history, and in its context with with its current events, and he basically boils it down to syrup whether it's Grand Theft World or, or something else, it's just so much easier for people with busy lives to digest. And it's it's the condensed information that I find so valuable. So I really, I don't know if he meant that for as a metaphor, but um, I really thought that was funny because that's, I've always felt the way that, that Richard does that. I was preparing for this, um, you know, being on camera and I found these from probably 10 years ago. These are a couple of bumper stickers that, um, from the peace revolution and the tragedy and hope community have to be 10 years old that rich sent me and i i'd forgotten about them obviously that they never made it onto my car um but i've been in his orbit for a decade and i've always felt that that's that was the value that he brings he takes really really broad topics and just boils it down into its condensed form so yeah those might have been the the thousand dollar bumper stickers that he bought with bitcoin those are. Don't don't stick those anywhere. Those are really, really valuable stickers, Mark. <laughs> I got them, man. I paid I paid 200 Bitcoin for 200 stickers once upon a time because Bitcoin was worth like 50 cents or a buck or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so now those stickers are really expensive. So <laughs> they are currency amongst each other. <laughs> You find someone else that knows what those stickers are worth. Yeah. Thanks for sharing, Mark. Uh, Thank you, Richard. Glad you got to uh, join us for the kickoff yesterday. You came in right under the wire, huh? Yeah, I did. Glad to be here. Yeah. Well, who else? Uh, well, and and what's so cool is uh, I've been working with Mark. Amanda came in season two, I want to say. Season two. Uh, and so one amazing, beautiful family. And then Mark, we've been, Autonomy, Autonomy Limited has been helping him with his website, which we're waiting on that copy, Mark. Yes, you uh, are. And uh, we're, we're going to be designing a beautiful website for him. And now, yeah, Mark joined the Autonomy community. So it's, yeah, just great to be rubbing shoulders with you. I appreciate it too. I'm going to be looking some accountability. I'm going to get you that copy soon. <laughs> yeah. uh, who, who else? Uh, wants to make a comment about last night's uh, lecture or just their experience so far. Uh, can I, I don't know how to. Uh, hey. Hey, um, name's Jeffrey. Uh, I think I'm under my wife's uh, <laughs> Skype thing that's on our awesome. phone. So I almost called um, you Nina. Yeah, uh, I just want to, <clears throat> I also got in under the wire. I had it planned to 
to be able to make the down payment yesterday and feels really good to be investing in myself and the family and to be just very clear how much everybody in the community is putting into this and uh, even from the first call I thought that I kind of knew what I wanted to do with my life as uh, regenerative agriculture and teaching and that and uh, the call was kind of rattling and shook that up and now I'm a little bit less sure that that's how I want to spend all of my time and vital energy so uh, it's, it's really cool to be in a community where we can have that safe space to figure that out together. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Nice to have you. You can call me Mandy, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm under my wife's Zoom, Zoom account as well. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad that you're here and I look forward to getting to know you more. Thanks. Good. Yeah. Uh, what do you what do you, what are you doing for uh, for what's your passion project? Is it agriculture? Yeah, so um, it's uh, it's a oh, hold on the kids want a new audio CD. I had to pull over so I could say hi. Uh, <laughs> and uh, been there. Yeah, uh, we uh, our passion project. My passion project is regenerative agriculture and rewilding, uh, teaching the uh, foraging and regenerative agriculture practices that people can use to um, be self-sustainable. I am growing rice out as well so that we can really provide all the calories for a community, all the food needs um, without very much gasoline. Um, so that's kind of, that's the, the beginnings of it. Awesome. We need more of that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jeffrey. We'll have to talk. I just bought some property up in uh, North Florida that I'm trying to I mean, become self-sufficient, starting to grow and all that good stuff. So I'll definitely need some tips because I really don't know what I'm doing. I just bought it and decided that this is what I'm going to do. So I'll figure it out as I go along. So I'm going to need lots of help. <laughs> you, DJ. Yeah. Jeffrey, where are you from? Where are you out of? We're uh, in the Asheville, North Carolina area right now. Okay. Thank you. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you all so much. Yeah, cheers. Look forward to seeing you around. Anybody else want to uh, share their experience so far before we wrap up? So this is Do It Live Autonomy Podcast. We're going to be doing this here every Saturday uh, as the lectures uh, get longer. Um, it's really great to be able to recap kind of what we all um, took in the night before and just hear different people's perspectives of, of what they what they gleamed of value. Uh, so this is why I got this podcast going because uh, there's so much that starts happening throughout the week from student presentations, podcasts, guest lectures, uh, our, our, our clients that we're helping make courses with. You'll just start seeing these things pop up on the calendar and it's impossible to, to see it all. So we put this podcast together to kind of recap and just give a little snip, uh, bite-sized looks at um, what's going on throughout the week and then be able to share that on the world. So I don't know if uh, any of you caught Do It Live before you joined Autonomy Podcast. I think it's a, a really good window to see what, you know, real people, not assholes. Uh, we all share uh, similar values uh, and uh, uh and, and we're able to really do amazing things with the support and momentum that uh, uh, us as a group have in heading in the direction of entrepreneurship, uh, sustainability, um, providing for our families, and uh, broken down into entrepreneurship, uh, uh, creating those businesses and projects and getting them up off the ground. Uh, we have Autonomy Unlimited, which is a marketing and consulting business. So we got all the uh, tools that you guys need to uh, get going. You can reach out to us at any time, get uh, feedback on ideas that you're doing. Uh, you can hit up Richard on Q and A's. Uh, you can just give him a little bit to work with and he'll uh, really be able to show you the potential of what you are passionate about and uh, uh, how we can support you in getting those things up and running. Any last comments for uh, we wrap this show up? You guys are just more than the sum of your parts. Yeah, Voltron.
<laughs> well, next question, like, Josh. Where, where, where did you get the shirt? Oh, um, I'll, I'll drop a link in class chat. Yeah, for sure. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking billboards. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I look forward to getting to know you guys more. We got QA coming up tomorrow morning. And, uh, and then, yeah, there is a calendar in the uh, class uh, curriculum that you'll be able to access and, and get uh, um, the ability to join all the production that's going on. We got Grand Theft World happening tomorrow night. You can uh, uh, join live with the crew and uh, it's always fun seeing behind the scenes of just how production is made, all the components needed in order to get this like glossy, nice finish uh, 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 video afterwards. So uh, look forward, reach out. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in class chat. There's like 400 people just dying to help and support and answer questions. Um, and uh, if you have any real technical issues, you can contact the team at support at autonomylimited.com. If you're watching the replay of this, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. We're going to be doing this for throughout the season. So uh, we'll probably have uh, 12 more episodes of this, just showcasing what's going down inside of autonomy. Uh, you're curious about autonomy, go to get autonomy, uh, dot, uh, info backslash 19 skills, grab the 19 skills PDF, and uh, you'll be on track to join the obstacle course and uh, figure out what it's going to take for you to join this amazing community. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>